Okay, so we're going to make some uh, use of the 3D door components that come in the SketchUp uh, components bonus pack. Uh, 3D doors um, are in the architectural bonus pack uh, in the in the doors uh, folder, and uh, they have a a particular uh, characteristic uh, to them. Uh, which is shared by many components, you can make a component that can cut through a wall or at least through a face. So we're going to make a face first by producing a oh, kind of a rectangular building like this. And what we had shown before for making a door was along the lines of cutting a hole and then deleting it and then and then you see that we have a door. Or if you wanted to you could push it in a little bit to make a doorway and then uh, eliminate the door and then you have you know, this kind of this kind of doorway here but as has been pointed out before all of these surfaces are, are two-dimensional they have no actual thickness to them now if you were if you were in the components library looking in the architectural components bonus pack, you go to doors, uh, then there are a wide variety of doors here of different widths and heights, mostly the same height, uh, six foot eight. This is a three foot door, three foot wide door, and they have um, different descriptions here, right, right reverse, left reverse, left, uh, and closed. Let's pull out this one here. So. I'm going to take this component and drop it on here and you'll notice that this door when it is up against a face like this will stick to that face and then when you look at it you see that it's already cut itself an opening in my wall then the other characteristic of this door is that there's this little bit out here, this little frame, that is projecting out of the wall. So the door doesn't doesn't uh, insert itself flush with the wall. Instead, it inserts itself most of the way, and uh, the door frame here uh, cuts a hole in the wall. Unfortunately, let's get rid of the roof here. Unfortunately, my wall wall is still is still two-dimensional. Now if I wanted to I could I could you know create a new wall like that a thicker wall and this thick wall as it is let's get rid of this doorway uh, in in uh, uh, in this doorway that I that I created the thick wall kind of works, but uh, the door didn't didn't um, uh, insert itself very well. Let's try it now. So I'll take another door. I'm going to place it on this wall here, and presumably it will cut it on its own opening. And actually, it does, as you can see down here. It's cut its own opening, but it's only cut through one face. The other face on the opposite side is still closed, even though it you know it's inserted. To the, inserts itself like this. And so this face is still closed here and and so our door is kind of useless. One way to get around this is to say cut a rectangle like that. Let me try that again, sorry. Cut a rectangle here and delete it. And then you know, move uh, the rectangle components to the edges where I want them to be in order to make uh, make the, uh, an opening the right size that goes all the way through. So one could do that. It's a pain to do it, but it can be done. And that is that is one way to there. One way to to uh, penetrate a thick wall. The other way is like this. 
Having this door that penetrates one side, I could put another door on this side that will cut through this wall. And, in fact, I've created something like that. I can go to the 3D warehouse, get models, I'll uh, put in my name, or my username, and I have a number of wall, uh, models here. This one is called a door penetrator. I'll download it, load it directly in. This door penetrator is designed to cut through, cut through a wall, except it didn't do it just then. Let's see now. It's a component now that exists in my home page here. Or, so, uh, I'll try that. There we are. Okay. This I can move like that. And so the door penetrator has has no surfaces on it, but instead is simply designed to cut through okay, cut through a wall, a hole the same size as this door. And so now I have I have a doorway that's that's completely cut through on both sides. It's very nice. The door and the penetrator are designed to work on a wall that is four and a half inches thick. This thing will, will sit correctly in a four and a half inch thick wall. A uh, thicker wall and you'll get odd gaps and things like that. So that's the way it goes. The other thing about these kinds of doors that you should know is this. Let's make another rectangle here. I'm going to pop it up. I'll use my um, tool here to make a uh, 4.5 inch offset. I'm going to push the whoops, push this part of the offset all the way down. And now I have a bunch of 4.5 inch walls. Select all connected, make it into a group. This is how I made my exterior wall uh, group. I like making them into groups because they're easier to work with and they don't intersect with other geometries later on. However, if I were to get a door and put it in there, like this one, the door doesn't cut a hole. This door is only able to cut a hole through, through a face, not a group. So what I actually need to do is edit this group to open up or make available the individual faces. Now if I put a door in there, and look, it does cut at least through the first face. Now what I would have to do actually is get my door penetrator and place that over here and move it appropriately to get my double cut, which isn't quite right. Bear in mind that I'm still editing this wall group. So if I close the group, there, everything within it, including the door, door penetrator, and the opening that it makes, is part of that group. But at least now I do have an opening. There we go. So you can see on the inside. So that's how to deal with doors. Doors will cut through a face, but only cut through one face. If you're going to insert a door into a wall group, you need to edit the group to make the wall faces uh, available for cutting. And on the other side, you need to have a correctly matched uh, penetrator, uh, which is a custom uh, custom component that I've that I've created.